up people Rabbi by jones here from abj creative studio today 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 we're doing a tutorial and the tutorial we're doing today is um, about um how to change t-shirt colors that is t-shirt mock-up colors so i have a t-shirt mock-up here and it's in um, a deep blue color so i'm about to break down how to change colors for the t-shirt and um, how to go about it and all this stuff okay so i have my t-shirt here i'll link um, a description i'll link come on i'll put the link in the description so that you guys can get the t-shirt and move along as i'm doing this okay so um let's come to the layer side here so as you can see um there's a shadow here and there's the t-shirt so if i toggle off the shadow and um, um, in the workspace it takes out the shadow behind the t-shirt the one that's giving it the realistic feel but if i toggle it back on you see it gives it the shadows that i mean make makes it look realistic and the t-shirt here if i toggle it off it takes away the main t-shirt that is the main element okay it's back on now then we have the change um, t-shirt color here yeah you can change the t-shirt color at this side you can do whatever you want with it but no this is not um this is not where we're going to change the colors and everything what we're going to do is um, um a manual type of thing yeah so let me cancel this one uh, my photoshop just crashed yes let me let me reopen it yeah so the main reason why um sometimes our photoshop crash is because we've been um working and working and working and we pile it tends to pile up like a lot of works i don't know how to put it there's this kind of um, um tempera files that piles up somewhere yeah that is how it works so you just go to um run search for temp and you just take it um, um delete whatever is there I i'll make sure to do um a tutorial on that one but for now let's just get to what we want to do here okay so let me open the t-shirt back up again and then move on to what i want to do okay so i'll click on open here in photoshop it will take me straight to where my works are okay works and i've saved the t-shirt as t yeah t so you just open it and um it loads up into the workspace okay so let's continue so um as you can see there's this edit fill value and adjust contrast here let me toggle off the color so actually it's it's white when it, when the the first time you, you open the t-shirt mock-up it's in white yes it's in white and if you want to um, um toggle it back to black you would have to make sure that this layer that is the change t-shirt color is toggled on so when it's on it changed to black and when it's off it changed to black and um, it's it changed to white but then if you want to change the color for the t-shirt this is what you have to do let me delete this guy here so that you get to know how it works here so i'm going to create a new layer on top of this fold um this layer that's the edit fill value and i'm going to hold control and click on the thumbnail of the t-shirt okay so right now we've selected the whole t-shirt as um, um how do you call it the whole t-shirt as the uh, as our selection so the next thing to do is go to the color selection or the color picker and choose any color i'll go in for red so you just select the red and click on ok then you choose the um, um, um bucket to that is j you just click on the t-shirt then you hit ctrl d for the selection so what you're going to do is you're going to set the blend mode of the color um, of the the color that we just um, um used the color bucket on we just you're going to set it to color that will be way down here and you just click on okay so one thing that you have to look at right now is um you see when you look at the hanger over here in the t-shirt it also comes with the color and we don't want that to happen so what we're going to do is we're going to select 
just this side only and and if you want to select let me go over this again you hold control and you click on this guy that is the change t-shirt color here so after clicking it selects the um, um, um the hanger here alone then you select the color and you hit on backspace to lead oh come on it's supposed to be shift control i to invert it then you click on backspace to delete the color and it's simple as anything yeah okay so um after doing that you would want to change the color to a different color what you have to do is just select um, um the, the color here go to color overlay and choose any color that you want so i'll go i'll go with this color then i'll hit on okay but one thing that you have to notice is the moment you add color overlay to the color it's not going to appear as you want it to be unless there is this shadow overlay here that i've toggled off let me toggle it back on and see how it looks okay this is how the um, um the shadow overlay looks like but the shadow overlay is mostly used for the elements that you're going to insert into the t-shirt we'll get there very soon okay so now we've, we've changed the color for the overlay so what we're going to do is we're going to right click and rasterize the layer style then the blend mode will get back to normal so we'd have to set it back to color again and voila that is it this is what we get so it depends on the type of color that you're going to choose and you make sure you choose a color that is going to favor you or that's going to work for you in your work okay so let me um, um, hit on Control z that is the undo and go back to the red okay so we're back to the red let me um, insert something here so let's say um, I have a text say T the text is called T we have a T text here let me select ultra for it and make sure it is scaled up to the maximum okay so we have T here this right here looks very raw you see it looks raw like the T is just in there so they've provided the shadow overlay here to give you that realistic feel that the T is part of the t-shirt so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the shadow overlay is on top of the element that's the T so we're going to um, 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 we're going to clip the shadow overlay into the T and what you're going to do is right click and move to create clipping mask right now the the, the shadow is toggled off so we're going to toggle it back on and yes that is how it looks like so we just toggled it back on and look at the details coming in from the, 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 the shadow overlay into the T and it makes it look very realistic, makes it feel like the T is part of the T-shirt. Yeah, okay. So um, let's look at this other thing too. Say you want to, um, you want to create double T-shirts and change the color for this and change the color for that. So what you're going to do is just select the shadow T-shirt, the chain T-shirt color, edit fill value, the color, the T and also the shadow. Those are the elements that you need to select, these elements. Then you are going to hit on the transform control and shift them to the left side. So after you are done shifting, you hit on enter, it finished loading up. Then you hit on control J to duplicate the whole thing. So right now we are having two t-shirts here. So I'm going to hit on the transform control again and shift it to the right side so as you can see we have two t-shirts here to give it balance i'll have to select the whole thing and shift them all to the side so right now i have two colors here i just want to change one color so that we get a different type of feel in the other so i'm going to change the color for this right t-shirt to a deep blue something like this will do then i'll hit on ok and as I said earlier on, after adding the color overlay to the color, you have to rasterize it before you can change the blend mode again to color. So we change it back to color and this is how it feels. But there's one thing that you have to notice. If you choose a color and it doesn't work for you, you can go through the whole blend mode. So let's start from normal to dissolve to darken. You see darken too is good. It gives you this blue black type of feel. Multiply is, is, is also there color band linear band darker color 
lighting screen color dodge nice so color dodge really works for this whole thing i won't even move on because color dodge is very perfect and this is how you change the color for a mock-up t-shirt and if you want to go back to black say i don't want this blue all you have to do is just toggle off the color and you're back to black and if you don't want the black to toggle off this green thumbnail right here and you're back to white and the main reason why it, you're not the main reason why you're not seeing the white really well is because the background also is white so after changing it back to white like this you'd have to change the t color to a different color or something so i just change it back to red and nice this is how it works so guys basically this is the whole idea behind changing t-shirts mock-up colors so kindly subscribe to the channel like the video share i mean ask me any question that you want to and i'll make sure to reply in the comment section bye bye